Welcome back guys, it's five in the morning and the adventure starts now. You are right, mate. What time is it? Too early. Too early. Here it is, the travel bag with a vintage... Um, let's see, your vintage work isn't it mum? It is, my vintage work. Yeah. One flight down so far, two more to go. I'm in uh, Copenhagen Airport at the moment, <laughs> just picked up my bags. And uh, we are going to see the Lisa now. Which would be really weird because I haven't seen her in about three months. <laughs> So we got, finally made it to Auckland after a 36 hour journey um, from Bournemouth and we are here now in Base Hostel which is where we're staying for three nights and oh. so yeah we're in Base Hostel now we arrived about six in the morning in Auckland because our plane, our plane like, arrived about four so um, by the time we got to base, it was six o'clock, and uh, we had to wait till two o'clock to check in. We're here for three days, so gonna probably today's pretty much a write off to do a few things today, and then tomorrow and the day after, we'll do a proper explore of Auckland and get some good footage. Thank you. 
All right. Film the flowers. You can be like, oh, look at the nice flowers. Oh, look at the nice flowers. Now I can't see what they look like. Oh, they do look pretty. Afternoon, guys. So, uh, this afternoon, we've had a little stroll through Albert Park, which is a fairly nice park in Auckland. But to be honest, apart from that, we haven't been up to much, have we, Lisa? No. So we're struggling a little bit from the uh, jet lag. So we spent about a day and a half so far kind of uh, in bed around the hospital, just hospital? Around the hospital, just recovering. And we decided to come out today uh, for a little stroll. And uh, my thoughts of Auckland so far, um, haven't been too impressed with it actually, uh, but I was kind of prepared for that because a lot of people told me that Auckland was kind of a, an average kind of city in terms of the uh, other cities you can visit in New Zealand. And yeah, I would say it's, it's average. Um, can't really compare it to anywhere else I've been to so far obviously, but uh, yeah, there isn't much to do here it seems. Um, there's a few nice like buildings and stuff like obviously you've got over here the sky tower you can just see it there in the background and it's a fairly modern city so you've obviously got lots of uh, modern architecture but uh, from the looks of it, it doesn't seem like it's much to do um, yeah, apart from the park, we went for a little walk down to the dock, which was uh, quite nice, but nothing like a uh, shit. Nothing like a uh, circular quay um, in Sydney. But yeah, it's not too bad. Oh god, <laughs> I was trying to zoom in on your ass, but... Wow! Pretty wet! <laughs> Morning guys, so it's our last day in Auckland before we move on and uh, last night we um, had a little google about what we could do because um, we haven't really done that much because we've been pretty tired and uh, Lisa found this little uh, volcano that we could come and do a trek and explore so that's what we're doing today um, it's called uh, Rangato Rangatoto and um, I'm pretty sure it's it's dormant. I'm not actually totally sure. Do you know Lisa? Dormant? Yeah, yeah it's dormant. It's not extinct. Um, we're having a trek here now, which I'm pretty happy about, to be honest, because to me, the whole uh, New Zealand thing is outdoors and trekking and exploring. And we didn't really think we could get any of that in uh, Auckland. But we found this little beauty just about 20 minute ferry wide away, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, in regards to sort of trekking time, it's not too bad, it's about an hour. Um, it's not too steep. Like the brochure and the guide say that it's like a fairly uh, easy and tame walk, so. So this is the view like 20 minutes up. No, not 20 minutes up, 40 minutes up. We've got 20 minutes left until the summit. 
you can just about see the sky tower. Oh, there. Sun's gone in a bit. Okay. What have we got over here? Lava caves. Summit. 15 minute walk to the summit. We're also going to check out the lava caves as well. Should we do lava caves now? There's birdie bird. Oh my god, is it a kiwi? Alright, so we decided to uh, check out the lava caves first because there's like a bunch of school kids that are closely following us and we heard that they're going to the lava caves first. So we thought if we went to the summit, by the time we got to the lava caves, they'd all be there. So we're doing lava caves first. And uh, I also thought I would mention that um, the reason we're kind of like in Auckland at the moment is because it's kind of like a stepping stone to our next destination, which is Taranga, which is where Lisa and I plan on working and saving some money up for the rest of our adventures. So we had a pretty long flight from uh, Europe to uh, New Zealand. And we figured, you know, Auckland's a pretty big city. We didn't know there was like that much to do there, but we thought, you know, we're here now, so we would check it out. Um, so that made sense to us. And then tomorrow, we're actually going down to Taranga and we're gonna look for like uh, a job and an apartment. And all we've got sorted at the moment is a hostel for a week. So we're kind of hoping that we'll get something sorted out by then. If not, we'll just have to keep uh, booking a hostel until we get something sorted out. So that's basically the plan. Well, surely this isn't the official path. Mm -hmm. What the hell? It must be. Yeah, it must be, but... Oh, wow. Look how beautiful that is, guys. That's Auckland. Mind you, is it even Auckland? <laughs> I can't see the tower. So it is Auckland. You can see over there the sky tower. The big pointy one. Wow, what an amazing view. And we're not even at the summit yet. We just found a cave, but we're not sure whether it's the uh, sort of official lava trail caves or whether it's a sort of a, a side cave. Let's check it out. Ah. I don't think we can walk down it. No, you can't walk down there. Huh? Pretty freaky. He's a little bit freaky. Now this looks like a cave. It's one of these guys, they got torches. Shit. You can see a lot, of, you can see a lot Lisa. There's a lot of natural light. Just be careful with your phone. Oh, we're not there yet. Two minutes left. Oh, this is it. This is the crater. Yeah. Wow. Here we go. The crater viewpoint. What we've been trekking for. Holy, look at that cloud. Oh yeah, that's nice. Wow. What's more impressive is this view over here. We made it up here guys after a couple of hours trekking. 
And what I would say that's more impressive than the crater is the uh, the views you can get from up here. Lisa was just saying like it'd be pretty nice to walk, you know, over the other side. Like all around this area here, it's all beautiful, amazing views. Down here is the crater. Obviously, it's a uh, it's a dormant volcano, so there's no like lava and ash or steam or anything. Um, still pretty good. Still a pretty nice view. Alright guys, so the last time I uh, was with you was in Auckland and uh, that was actually a few days ago. We've uh, moved on to a place called Mount Manganui, which is a uh, kind of like a little spit of land um, really close to this place called Charanga, which is kind of the biggest city around here. So yeah, we're at the moment in Mount Manganui. I mentioned in the previous clip that we were going to be looking for work and doing um, sort of trying to get an apartment here and we actually have managed to be lucky and get, get a little place here so yeah not too bad really um, thank you guys for watching my Auckland vlog and uh, my basically my departure vlog um, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see some more content guys and we'll see you in the next vlog the only day to start the day is right here